given question design a dfa over the alphabet set a comma b such that every string accepted must start with either aa or bb so let's begin a solution step 1 as we know is to define language language will contain all possible valid strings so here i'll first mention the smallest valid string possible since it is start with either aa so i can have a string aa or i can have string bb so here i have two smallest valid string that is aa and bb next i can have a a b as a string or b b a as a string or a a a a a b a b b a b b b b b and so on right so here it will contain all those strings that either start with a a or start with b b the language is not finite we'll proceed to the next step that is construct dfa we have to follow two rules the first rule is to first construct up the dfa for the smallest valid string right next complete dfa by responding to all the inputs at every state fine so let's begin we'll first construct up our dfa for smallest valid string so here in our case our language has got two smallest strings that is aa and bb so let's proceed from the initial state if i get an a i reach state q1 and from q1 if i get an a i reach state q2 which i mark it as final because aa is a valid string next i have input b it should reach state q3 and then for the other b i should be reaching final state that is q4 so i have justified i have constructed a dfa for both both the strings that is aa and bb now let's complete our dfa we have to respond to all the inputs at every state looking at q0 q0 has responded for input a as well as for input b coming to state q1 to reach q1 from the initial state i have an input a q1 has already responded to input b now if i get a b if i get a b is it valid no it is not valid so it breaks up my pattern right and we already know that whenever we have a start start with pattern i we have a dead state so for the transition b i create up a dead state that is q5 okay so q1 has responded to both input a and input b clear coming to q2 to reach q2 from the initial state i have the transition with input a and then from q1 i have transition with input a so i am coming across this input a a that means i am starting with an a starting with the substring a a right so even if at state q2 if i get an another a is it valid yes it is valid because i am starting always starting with a a so i put up a self loop of input a 
what about input b to reach q2 i have input a a i have to come across this transitions if i get a b over here it is still valid because i am justifying the condition of starting with a a so even if i have multiple b's it is still valid so i put up the self loop transition of b also to state q2 q2 has responded to both inputs a and b now this case handles a string starting with a a and and n combinations after it right so let's complete a machine now coming to q3 to reach q3 i am from the initial state i have to come across input b that is this transition q3 has already responded to input b if i get an a now this breaks up the pattern of starting with b b so this a is not allowed input has to be shown to a dead state which already we have is q5 right now q3 is complete it has responded to both input a and input b yes coming to state q4 to reach q4 from the initial state i have this transition from q0 to q3 with input b and from q3 to q4 with input b so this justifies our uh, condition that is starting with bb that means this pattern is encountered so at q4 even if i get an a or if i get a b it doesn't matter because these both strings are still valid right for even for multiple a's even for multiple b's it is still valid so i put up a self loop of a comma b yes q4 is complete responded to both inputs a and b now we we have a state q5 which is pending now let's start to reach q5 there are two ways one is from initial state input a and then b this is an invalid string right and one more possibility from initial state with input b and then from q3 to q5 with transition of input a so both are invalid strings right so any combinations of a's and b should never reach final because it is not following our condition of starting with an a a or b b right so after this any combinations of a's or b's or multiple a's doesn't matter i have to stay in the same state so i can call q5 as my dead state right so it this will handle all my invalid strings fine so this is how we construct up a dfa for the given question that is start with either aa or bb yes so next step is to define five tuples of dfa dfa is defined by five tuples that is q sigma q0 f and delta q is a set of finite states so here in our case we are having states q0 q1 q2 q3 q4 and state q5 okay input alphabet set is a comma b initial state we have is q0 finite set of final state is q2 and q4 right and the transition function that is q now this is how we construct up the other steps 
step 5 we have defined 5 tuples mentioned all the states over here next we have done the transition table okay and finally the last step is checking with checking an example taking a valid string and invalid string check whether a valid string is accepted by the dfa and an invalid string rejected by dfa so this is how we mention the five steps right yeah now if the question was to construct a minimal dfa that is we have to construct this machine with minimum number of states now let's check our uh, machine can we avoid any steps over here or uh, reduce down any of the states looking at q2 and q4 we know that both states are responding to inputs a and b as a cell Thank you.